Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy, uh, Snazzy, Heracleus, Mizrachi, whatever the fuck you want to call me. I'm bringing you a uh, Realm Total War 1 versus 1, 31k on the grassy flatlands, and I believe this is, uh, ah, it's day. Thought it was, I thought it was sunset, but whatever. Anyway, I'm playing as Macedon, and I brought, uh, oh, shit, two Korean archers. Five companion cavalry. Oh, I forgot one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, thirteen royal pikemen. And I'm um, playing against uh, Bobo, my my friend and my clanmate. I mean, he's brought five cavalry as well, one slinger, and fourteen sacred band. So he's got a infantry advantage because I decided to bring. Thirteen Royal Pikemen. Um, we played a bunch of these matchups uh, this day. Uh, this this match is like two weeks old, and um, we played a whole bunch of these. And I think um, he would always his Carthage would always beat my Macedon, and my Carthage would always beat his Macedon, or was it the other way around, where our Carthage couldn't beat? Macedon. No, no, no. Okay, I remember now. So I was playing as Carthage, right? And I couldn't fucking beat his Macedon. So he took Carthage. He's like, all right, man, I'm going to show you how it's done. And I'm like, cool, 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 cool. Let's play. And before this, like, I was kind of like, man, I feel like Macedon is, uh, definitely has a slight advantage over Carthage, especially when it comes to archers. Um, but I realized I was playing it wrong. I let Bobo take a lot more infantry than I did. And granted, Bo is a much better player than I am. Um, I'm pretty decent, but I make mistakes like this and I let my fucking archers get shitted on. I mean, it, it's not that bad considering I have one archer more than he does, or one missile unit, one more missile unit. But I still shouldn't have allowed that to happen. All I can do now is just send him to the back of the map and uh, make this guy get tired but whatever anyway so he's gonna rush me I'm gonna put my pikes down and he's gonna lose a couple of uh, sacred band because the I don't think he got in position fast enough so yeah he lost almost 30 I lost only 11 so not too bad but I notice he's not shooting me with any of my any of his slingers and what I should have done is I should have used my cavalry to take in out or at least one unit to take out his slingers but it worked out it worked out as you can see here I'm gonna m make sure that I stop or that I put as much pressure on all sides from him as possible so that I can uh... Oh, excuse me so that I can you know f so I don't fucking just die instantly um right here he was i guess he tried to move these sacred bands uh, ahead of my royal pikemen and they're just gonna get wrecked by by archer fire and my pikes so yeah he's, he's not really pushing because he's got to he's got to push from one side you can't really Unless you're facing someone that doesn't know what they're doing, you can't really like just push with Carthage on all on the as like one line because you're gonna overextend yourself. And uh, right here, uh, you know, using my archers, shoot the back of his uh, his infantry. Definitely a nice little touch, and I think. He uses his slingers, or he's not using his slingers to shoot my archers. I don't know. I didn't really notice them getting shot at, but right now, it's just making sure that I hold long enough to where he doesn't have enough units to protect his cavalry from my cavalry. Because if I go in like for a charge now, my cavalry is gonna die. And yep, he goes for my archers again, and I just run from them this time he kinda just like ignores them 
and goes for my cav so they're safe and I'm like you know what fuck it let's take my general cause I'm, I'm out of reserves he still has two cause he brought more infantry than I did so he kinda, he makes a mistake right here and like is starting to walk his cav and I'm bringing my royal pikemen who are winded some for some reason and I do a nice charge on them and then I get these royal royal pikemen and I put my pikes down and then they're just gonna instantly break see right there they broke for the most part and he's going for a charge here but I think he backs out of it now I use now if this was like a normal just a uh, royal pikeman I, I wouldn't really care but since this is my general I kinda fucked up by using him and uh... he kinda just got wrecked as you can see here not much I could have done I probably didn't really need the the royal pikeman to come and assist with the cavalry I got a much better charge on him and he was outnumbered but I wanted to be sure because there's been times where I have outnumbered a Carthage player in Cav and I've still lost. Maybe I'm just bad or whatever. But as you can see my uh, my left flank here is kind of just wrecked. But my right flank held because he, he was mostly attacking from the left. And I was uh, fucking him up on the right. As you can see I have units that are still like in the hundreds on the right. Oh, just one. And my general's just dead yeah he's dead actually no he's not dead he's just running away yeah so I'm just gonna charge to get rid of whatever units that were here left fighting and right here my calf gets uh, fucking caught out of position and then they break which really sucks I don't want to get into a calf fight because like I said sometimes fucking sacred band cavalry destroy companion cavalry so anyway, right here, I'm like, alright, we got to fight. He's got more infantry than me, I think. Six, seven. Yeah, he's got seven, and I've got, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe? He's got eight, but this one's going to die. And his units are much healthier than mine. But I have a huge cavalry advantage on him right now. And also have uh, Cretan archers, and uh, also those units that ran away came back, and I'm shooting these guys, I believe, or these guys. Can't remember exactly. And right there, I thought about going for a charge, but I backed out when I saw his Sacred Band cavalry. And I decided to get rid of his slingers finally because he was shooting my cavalry, and I didn't like that. And these guys came back, so yeah. So this matchup here, uh, Macedon versus Carthage, it's really all about Pike, and well, no, it's it's all micro honestly, which is something that I lack in my micro is honestly not the greatest, especially since I don't play like all the time like I used to, so my micro is like really uh, ah man my micro, it can be shit at times, that unit breaks sadly it's had enough. And he's trying to flank with this unit of 14, and I'm not, I'm not really worried about that. But I'm pretty sure it can do a lot of damage. Yeah, it's actually starting to kill a couple of them. 29, yeah, 38. Well, maybe not so much. So, he's trying to go for a hammer and anvil because his units are tired and mine aren't. But I see it coming in time, and so I turn around. And I don't know if that's what he wanted me to do, but I did it anyway. And these guys, they're, they're going to hold, but they're having a hard time holding. That unit breaks, so that unit breaks, and then this unit's going to be the only one fighting these two, so that's a good thing. And I catch one of his uh, cavalry units, or not really, actually, <laughs> but uh, it, that unit broke. Got my archer shooting at the backs of these sacred band. And right here, I go for a charge. I should have gone with all the cavalry, but I didn't want to get a. I don't. I don't want that to happen. And like he have cavalry remaining, but thankfully I had enough cavalry, like a lot actually, to to break a lot of these units. And I'm. I was. 
actually kind of surprised at how well my infantry performed, even though the general like ran away, or my general ran away. They're performing decently, they're still eager. They're losing and they're still eager, which is nice. And then I do a nice charge here. It doesn't kill the general. I actually don't think I kill his general at all. I catch the remaining of his cavalry left. Like I said, I should have just done a mass charge. And I probably would have broken his his units. But uh, I didn't. And I think my archers here are out of ammo. Yep, they're out of ammo. These guys are shooting the cavalry, I think, now. At this point in the game, it's still really close, but I believe I I won from here. There's not much he could do. Maybe if I, like, fuck up and, like, just charge all my cavalry through here, then I'll lose, but... I'm, I'm decent. I'm not, not a bad player. So, you know, good, very good game to my opponent, uh, Bubbo. He, <laughs> after this, he said, okay, Mastodon has a faction... <laughs> Uh, this was like my first victory after like just defeat after defeat after defeat as Carthage. So it felt nice. It felt really nice. Uh, Bobo made a couple mistakes. I made a lot of mistakes, but it was a good game overall. Uh, look at all these dead bodies. And uh, here's the stats. He's, this one unit of Royal Pikemen got a lot of kills. And it. Uh, I thought it fucking gave the. Two, it showed which ones were the 2 2 Royal Pikemen. I don't think these were. Nah. My companions did good work. My archers didn't do much. So, but yeah. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.